Now the flu season in the United States may be reaching a peak, and so far it looks like a more severe season than others in recent memory. John Yang gets an update on why and what you need to know. This flu season started earlier than in the past, and the Centers for Disease Control says it's the most widespread outbreak it has ever seen. Officials say doctors' visits are climbing, and pediatric deaths from the flu are up as well, at least 20 so far. The CDC says the flu leads to the deaths of thousands of Americans each year. To bring us the latest on the current flu season, we're joined by Dr. Amber Robbins. She's a family medicine physician at Georgetown University and the Health and Media Fellow here at the News Hour. Dr. Robbins, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why is this season so bad? This season is bad because this year we're seeing more people with influenza A. Now, in the past, we've seen a season with influenza A means that we have more cases of the flu, we have more hospitalizations, and ultimately more deaths because of the flu. And so that's a concern this year, as influenza A is a predominant flu strand. And what makes it, uh, influenza A so problematic? Right, it changes so quickly. So even though we have the vaccine that's made several months before the flu season actually begins here in the U.S., the virus itself changes that it's not an exact match to the actual vaccine. So that is a, a point of concern, but it's important to know that even though that may be the case, if you get a flu vaccine, you are less likely to have hospitalizations. And then this, the flu itself, if you do get it after getting the vaccine, your, your symptoms are less severe. And how effective is this vaccine this year? All right. It's around 32%. That's what experts think for this year, um, which is a little less than it has been in previous years. But again, it's better to get it than not get it. Better to be covered than not. And could this season get even worse? It could. The question is, though, where are we in the flu season? So, like you were saying before, we know that the flu season started a little bit earlier than it usually does. But the question is, are we at the peak of the season or is this a trend that is going upward? So those questions we still don't know the answers to until the flu season is over. Okay, a little practical advice for people now. Mm -hmm. When should someone go to the doctor? I mean, a lot of people try to tough it out. I see them in the aisles of the drug stores. When oh, should they yeah. decide to go to the doctor? Whenever you feel sick, you should Either, either think about going to the doctor or just call if you have any questions. Um, the symptoms of the flu are fever, chills, night sweats, cough, uh, feeling really horrible. And those are also symptoms of a cold. So it's really hard to decipher which one is which. And that's our job, to help you and be able to treat if we think that it is the flu. Is it too late for people to get a flu shot? No, nope, not, not too late at all. You can go to your clinic or you can go to the local pharmacy and still get a flu vaccine now. And the people who should get it, of course, it's people who are the age of six months and above, but then also those who are pregnant, those who may have some long-term chronic diseases like heart disease. Um, we also know for influenza A, those who are older and younger or the ones who are at at more risk of having complications from it. So those are the people that we're saying you definitely, definitely, definitely need to get your flu vaccine. Two things I hear a lot of people say, mm -hmm. I never get the flu, so oh, I'm not yeah. gonna get a shot. Or if I get a shot, mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'm gonna get the flu. What do you say right. to those folks? Well, for the first one that you, you, people who say that they've never gotten the flu, I hear so many patients say that they wish they would have gotten the vaccine once they get the flu. So. I would say, you know, even with your thoughts of not getting the flu, it's good to have some protection than no protection. And with the flu being something that we're giving you in the flu vaccine, that's not necessarily true. In the vaccine itself, it's using an inactivated flu virus, meaning that it's not a living virus. And what that does is it helps your system be aware of the flu and what it looks like so that when you do come in contact with an active virus, your body knows what to do and those fighter cells can go ahead and fight that flu. We've heard a lot of talk about a shortage of the antivirals like Tamiflu. What is there? What's that about? Right. So there are some places where it's hard to get those antivirals. And usually those places are the places that have a lot of flu cases. But 
overall in the United States, there is not a shortage. It's just depending on where you're trying to get the medication. So if, if you're in one of those places where you know that there are a lot of people who have the flu, just calling your pharmacy and seeing if they have the medication would be helpful. And again, that medication is good to have when you're in the first two days of the virus because it helps shorten the duration of having the flu and also decreases the severity of the symptoms. Very good. Dr. Amber Robbins, thanks for the house call. Thank you.